Hey guys, we're back with a, another video. We're down here on the floor, so of course we're doing a declutter. This is going to be part two of my eyeshadow palettes. Um, so if you guys haven't seen part one, I suggest you go ahead and watch it first. So um, we have gotten rid of 12 or 13 palettes, and then I have all of these in the maybe pile that we are going to discuss in a little bit. Um, we're well over like a hundred and something palettes now. At the end, I'm going to total up all the ones I'm getting rid of and all the ones that I'm keeping. So today we're gonna do like these more affordable palettes that are on my uh, top shelf of my bookshelf. And so I guess we'll go ahead and start off with, let's start off with these tiny Juvia's Place ones. Um, I am gonna get rid of a few Juvia's Place, but probably not a lot because I am, I'm a huge fan of Juvia's Place, but I only want to keep the ones that are like ones I know I'm going to use. Um, so I have these little mini palettes right here. Um, the Rebel Army, uh, just did a look with this. I don't know if it's up on my Instagram yet or not on my reels. And then this one is up on my reels. This is, uh, the Mint Squad. And I have the other ones that I haven't used yet over there with my new makeup. So, you'll see that in a little bit. I am going to show you my new makeup even though, like, obviously I'm not going to get rid of anything that's new. Um, this is the Mauve's palette by Juvia's. I really love this one. Um, I love these little six-pan palettes. I think they're, like, perfect just to create, like, a really fast and easy look. So, I'm keeping that one. This one is actually not my favoriteest. Um, if you had seen my ranking, my Juvia's Place palettes, you would know that this is my favorite purple one that they do, but it's not my, like, favorite palette from them. But, I'm not getting rid of this because, um, like I told you guys in that video, um, the color story really resonates with me on that. Um, this Nubian Royal, however, I kind of do want to get rid of. I don't know. The one I know I'm going to get rid of from these is the Nubian Glow. Um, I'm not a huge fan of yellows on my eyes like this. And this one just doesn't do it for me. So, this one I'm actually going to get rid of. And I, this was a holiday palette. Oh, that hurts. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. Like... I do like this particular purple. I wish this was in this palette, but I like the shimmers over here better. So I'm definitely keeping this one. This one's gonna go in the maybe because I don't know what I wanna do with that. This sweet pinks one, I'm not getting rid of this. It's so, so good. Keeping that. Also keeping the berries. I really like this one. Now the mattes in this one are a lot creamier than some of the other smaller ones. Um, the Blushed Rose, this is the newest two that I got, the Blushed Rose and the Bronze Rustic, and I'm keeping both of these, so. Oh, wait a minute, I think my battery's dying. Okay, guys, so I had to charge my camera, and I had to get me a Coke Zero, so... <sighs> I'm going to try to rush through this a little faster because I got to get my kids ready because they got a haircut today for before school starts. Um, this is the Topes palette. I think this was my lowest ranking in my, no, this wasn't the lowest, but it was very low. Um, in my Juvia's Place, I just have no desire to use this. This color is pretty. It's really the only color I care about in here. Um... I think I'm gonna get rid of this too because I don't need I don't need this color. And that's hard. Guys, getting rid of my Juvia's place is hard because I've been collecting them for so long, but I gotta get out of the collector's mentality because I have well over 200 and something eyeshadows and I can't use them all. All right, this one it was my lowest ranked. And I think I'm gonna get rid of this. Um I really only use the corals. I have enough grays, so this one's going to go too. As much as it pains me to get rid of these, I just, I can't. Juvia's Place, 
they're not my favorite. They're like the top three of my favorite makeup brands. Um, so, and the fact that they're so affordable, this one I'm keeping. Um, this is going to be really good for when I start work. So, I'm keeping that one. The Saharan. I kind of... I kind of want to get rid of this one too, to be honest. I'm like literally only keeping it for like those two shades. And this Sokoto shade. Mm. I don't know. When I use this, I don't get like, I, I, I use it for the same shadows. I don't ever go out of my comfort zone on this one. Which my comfort zone is like the bright. I don't hardly, I hardly ever use. I'm going to get rid of this one too. I just, I don't need it. I just don't need it. I got rid of the Freak a while back. So, keeping the Nomad palette. Keeping the Saharan 2. Love this. Um, I'm not going to swatch all of these, guys. Because, like I said, I have a swatch video already. Um, well, I have a ranking all of my Juvia's place. And um, it has swatches in there. So, keeping this one. This is the Warrior 2. Keeping the Deuce palette. Deuce, douche, whatever. Um, the Tribe, you would know what this one was ranked if you watched that video. So, definitely keeping this one. Um, this one. I don't know. This one was ranked low, too. I, I feel like I can't get a cohesive look out of it. But... Um, I don't know. I got to put that one in my maybes. I can't decide on that one yet. Keeping the Zulu. Keeping the Warrior. This is my favorite neutral one that they do. Keeping the Mini Masquerade. I really don't need to keep this one. But I am. So, keeping the Wahala 2. These are still newer to me. Keeping the Wahala. And keeping the magic. So, I didn't do too bad. I got rid of one, two, three, four Juvia's Place. And I have a couple in my, like, maybe area that we'll get back to. So, um, let's move on to my BH palettes. I have the Orange Sorbet. I did not get all of these. I kind of regret that I didn't. But I should have. Um... But I like orange on my eyes, so I bought this one. Um, and guys, these are, they're stunning. Like these shades. BH is also in my top three eyeshadow brands. Like, especially affordable brands. This is the bubblegum palette. Like you can't beat the quality of them at such an affordable price come on like seriously and i'm gonna keep all of the little packaging on this i don't even care i know and then of course the pistachio because you knew i was gonna get the green and the blue one i mean there was just no and i'm glad i got rid of that uh bad habit one now because that green looks like the one that i kept in that pat mcgrath dupe one and this color oh, it's like so duochrome so keeping this and I bought a bunch of new BH palettes that are still up there with my new stuff um this is one of the newer ones that I bought but uh I actually have used this one I used it for reels I don't know why I bought this one as opposed to the other colorful ones this one just spoke to me more I love these. Um, I love this shade, this shade, this shade. I haven't used these yet. I plan on doing a cool tone look with this. This came a little busted, but it was fine. I just pushed it back in. But definitely keeping this. So, and my other ones. Let's see. Like I said, I got some other ones I will still have to look at. This is the Weekend Vibes. This is the Mimosa palette. I love this for summer. Um, it's beautiful. And even though it doesn't have a lot of deeper shades, I still really, really like to use this one in the summertime. So, all right. This is a pastel palette I wanted to look at um, beside the Huda one right here because I'm not into pastels, like I said. And 
Like, obviously, they're very different. This is more, like, pink and rose-toned, obviously. But this one doesn't have a yellow, but I don't really use yellow. It's got a pink. It's got... So, I really don't need this one. So, I think I'm just going to go ahead and declutter this one and pass it on to somebody that I know can get some use out of it because I'm definitely keeping my BH ones. Uh, this Trendy in Tokyo, I'm, I can get rid of the packaging on that one. Uh, this is the older, I think they came out with like a newer thing of it. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's just a pretty colorful palette. I've used it. It's not my favorite BH one, but it's not terrible. The Smitten in Switzerland, I think this one might be my favorite. Um, it looks very boring, but guys, when I use this on my eye, I use this for like, I don't know, like two weeks straight. And I got some of the prettiest eye looks out of this. Um, I'm going to get rid of the carton on that one too. Um, highly recommend that. The Weekend Vibes Avocado Toast Palette. I know this is a lot of people's favorite, this particular green one. And I like it. And you get some very pretty green shades with this. Um, and a lot of other neutrals that will go really well with it. But um, I have so many green palettes. But I'm not getting rid of this. But this one just, it's not my... Like, it's not better than the Smitten, a Smitten in Switzerland to me. Um, the Blueberry Muffin... Is probably my second favorite. Guys, these colors right here, like I know they're matte, but they really work on the eye. They are not like powdery or patchy or you would think because they were lighter and stuff that they wouldn't look like, it's like bam in your face, this palette. It's so wonderful. The biggest surprise from BH that I had was I bought this Naughty palette and it's so huge and this came a little busted up. You wouldn't think that this quality would be amazing, but guys, it is. It really is. Now, this doesn't scream holiday, like, palette to me, but I'm glad I bought this, and I got it on sale, and it was, like, 50% off, and guys, oh, like, if you didn't get this, I don't know if they're going to come back out with it during Christmas, but I, oh, I highly recommend that. So, um, I have this LA Girl Main Stage Desert Dream eyeshadow palette. This one also arrived busted. Anything that I buy from like Ulta, a lot of times it arrives busted. Um, but to be honest, I don't think my male lady likes me very much. Um, she really hates my dog who's in my yard in a fence. She hates my dog and, um, Sometimes she has the tendency to just drop my packages really mean. And I know I've spoken to somebody about it, but anyway, I'm keeping that one. These are my B Bella palettes. I have, I think, one more. Um, I guess I could get rid of the carton on these because the actual looks pretty. Um, I love this palette. This is a good, like, more affordable brand. They're not my favorite favorite eyeshadow formula, but they're not terrible either. The only thing I say is some of them, not all of them, but some of their shimmers are very chunky and I would not go in with a brush on those. I would use my finger because if you use a brush, it's gonna, it's just fallout city. Um, like this is a more, and this one and this one are not chunky. The other ones, it's just on some of the palettes. So, I also have this pastel palette. And I much prefer, like, these types of pastels than the one in the Huda one. So, I'm glad I got rid of that. All right. So, now let's move on to, oh, I have this other Beauty Bay palette. This is the Fiery 2.0. Guys, I love this. I know it's a huge honking palette, but, like, it's gorgeous. And I, I love Beauty Bay quality. I'm, I'm glad I got this one. So, that's a key. All right. So, now let's move on to Morphe. I really do need to get rid of some of these. Um, that's my kid mowing the lawn in my house with his lawnmower. If you can hear that. I'm not going to apologize for my kids being kids. Um, I do need to get rid of some of these. Morphe's not... I like their color stories and stuff. Their eyeshadow palettes are just too big. They're repetitive. Of course, everybody knows about their, you know, browns and all of that. But I got rid of the uh, Bling Boss from Jaclyn Hill. I know a lot of people had issues with the Vault palette. I will say the formula is not fantastic like her bigger palettes. But 
it's Morphe. To me, it's like, I already knew, like, what Morphe's palettes were. These weren't any worse than any of the other Morphe palettes. So, I got rid of the purple one because I didn't need it. But, I'm going to keep the other three. The Coca-Cola Times Morphe. I got this. I don't know why. I don't know why I got sucked into the hype of the Coca-Cola collection. Um, I just look at it, looked at it, and I saw these reds. And I was like, and that glitter. And I was like, oh my God, it's so stunning. Um, I think I used this twice. And then I used this once on my cousin for a Halloween look. Because she was literally a Coca-Cola. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this. I really don't need it. I just, I don't. There's no point in keeping it. Um, I have those colors everywhere. The Morphe 18B Make and Bank. It's their green palette. I don't know. I don't know about this one. Like, I used this shade. It wasn't all that great. This darker one was kind of patchy. Um, this shimmer was more of a topper. This shimmer is just, like, I've got that, I'm sure. This blue, when I used it with the other ones, it just, it didn't... It wasn't as cohesive as I wanted it to be with some of the greens. And it looked funny with the browns. I don't know. I'm going to put this in the maybe because I don't know if I want to keep it. Same with this um, Morphe uh, 18A Blue Yo Way. I've got so many blue palettes. This is not my favorite formula. And these blues are nowhere near as good as the ColourPop the uh, BH, um, all any of my carnival palettes, like, and there's just so many browns. Like, I really like that brown. It's like a plummy brown. I don't know. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm just going to get rid of it. I've got tons of blues. It's, it's silly to keep it. The 10G Glisten Up palette. I used this, um, I think I used the purple. I wasn't impressed with these up top. They feel like a super shock without the pigment, to be honest. Um, and then the glitters. I haven't actually put on my eye yet. So, the glitters are gorgeous, though. That one looks bull. Eh. I don't know. I don't know about this one. I'm going to put that in the maybe too. Just because of the glitters. And I don't have a lot of glitters. And I like doing fun looks. So, please don't bring that down here. This is the Boss Mood Palette. I've used this a lot. Like, I use this every fall. Um, the quality is not the best. But, hang on. Move over here, baby. Um, the quality is not the best, but I'm not getting rid of it. I really like this Mama. particular Morphe Mama. palette. Not down. Hang on. I'll move it for you. Oh, I did move. I did drop them. It's okay. Sit down right there. My littlest son is coming in. You can see his feet. Put your hand right here. Say hi. Hi. Okay. All right. We got to be quiet, though. Uh, this is the 35V from Morphe. I got rid of the other one, the one that had, um, like, more teal tones and stuff. And I kept this one because I'm obsessed with blues and greens. But this is, like, really dark and jewel toned. And I don't use, like, really dark lid shades. And, like, yeah, these would be good to deepen up, but... I don't know. I'm getting rid of this one too. I don't. Yeah. I don't need it. No. So no, I don't need it. Me, me, I am one. Well, I'm keeping those. These are the ones I'm getting rid of over here. Me. Uh, don't step in front of the camera. All right. This is the Morphe 35C Everyday Chic. I actually like this palette. Um, I'm gonna keep it. I like the greens down here. I like all of these lighter tones. Yeah, uh, it gives me a good neutral look. I can use this at work, so I'm keeping this yeah. one. I am also keeping the Morphe 35XO palette. I really like this. I used it a lot um, during, like, February. And uh, 
it's got some really pretty like rosy pinky tones there's some purples some very light shades so i'm keeping those the original jaclyn hill palette Psh, look at that my this is my favorite palette of life it's like hands down my favorite palette it's so boring so neutral I love it. I have the Jaclyn Hill 2 up in my vanity. I'll show you guys that, but this ain't, it's not going anywhere. This one, the Morphe 39S. This is a big honking palette. And I hardly ever use it, but it's got like every color purple I could possibly need. And while I am not the biggest fan of purple eyeshadows, um, Everybody on Instagram and TikTok oh, and all that like, seem to really like it when I do more, more purple looks. So, I'm actually going to keep that one. So, right now, we're looking at... Hang on. Let me put all of this back and then I'll show you what I am getting rid of so far. And then we'll move on to, like, my indie palettes and all of that. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. So, now we're on to the next batch. Um... A lot of these came from In My Vanity. It was stuff I was already using. And then my Indie Shadows. So, after this, all we have to look at is, like, the new stuff that I haven't actually used yet. So, I guess we'll start off with... Uh-oh. Um, here's my Viseart Warm Edit. It actually busted when it came. Um, so, that's a bummer. But, uh, I'm keeping this. I've only used it once. Um, I still have the box for it. So, keeping that, um, I like Vizzy Arts shades. They're really pretty. Um, this is the last B Bella palette I have. It's the um, Sunflower Sweet Sunflower palette. I haven't actually used this yet. It was in my vanity to use, so I'm gonna keep. Oh, I'm gonna keep that. Um, the nine color fiery matte palette from Beauty Bay. I know I have the big fiery 2.0, and there's a lot of similar shades. But this is an all matte palette, and I like using this when I want to use some of my single shadows. So, I'm keeping that. Um, here is the Festival palette by Juvia's. And I was going to use it because I wanted to use those. It's a Juvia's palette. I'm keeping this one. Um, here is the Just Peachy Mattes palette. Um, I really like this. I'm, I'm still, I'm still going to keep it. I mean, I, I, I just am. Uh, the Carnival 3, this was in my vanity. I use this all the time with the other Carnivals, which are up there. Along, I, I still got to pull the ones from on the top, so I'm going to have to do that. Uh, this little, like I said, Crush palette from ColourPop. I did use this for a Zoom meeting the other day. I really like this one, so keeping that. The Nabla Cutie, this is the coral one. I love it. Used it. Keeping it. This is the... Aren't you glad palette? I can get rid of the packaging on that one. Um, this is what it looks like. Love it. Just used it. Keeping it. My Naked Heat. Love, use, keep. Um, these are my Alter Ego palettes. I just got these. Um, I'm pretty sure. Not 100%, so you can't quote me. But I'm pretty sure that Alter Ego is bad habit. So, I guess I can get rid of the packaging. Um, this is the dupe for the Glam palette. Like I said, I didn't want to pay that kind of money for the Glam palette. So, I bought... And I know people have all types of feelings about, like, dupe brands. But, I don't mind them. If you can get something more affordable. Obviously, the quality is not going to be the same. So... I think this was a dupe for the Divine Rose, the first one. So, I'm keeping that. And I did use um, one of those on uh, Instagram Reel if you want to see it. This is the Canyon Palette. This is a dupe for the Natasha Denona Bronze. It's really pretty. I love the packaging. This is the Aurora. I think this is a dupe for the Sunrise. Keeping the Sahara it's a dupe for the, is it the Biba? I think it's the Biba. Keeping the Goddess is a dupe of the Gold Palette. I really love this one. I mean, Alter Ego's formula is not bad. It's not the greatest, don't get me wrong. But, I mean, it's definitely not Natasha Denona quality. And 
they try really hard with these like cream to powder shades, but I kind of wish they wouldn't do it. They would just dupe the color because they can't dupe Natasha Denona's cream to powder formula. They just can't. Um, this is a dupe of the Metropolis, the Artemis palette. So, so you get what you're paying for, guys. It may, it may be a dupe, but that doesn't mean it's like better. So, here is another BH palette I have not used yet. It's the Do Not Disturb. This was in my vanity. I'm keeping that. Obviously, if I haven't used it, I'm keeping it, guys. Um, the Mini Retro palette. Keeping this. I kind of hope they come out with a midi size of this one. Um, this LA Girl Desert Dream. This one came with the other one. And this one didn't. It, it wasn't broken. So, one of them got broken. The other one didn't. I uh, haven't used that yet. Got to use it. Here it was, the Jaclyn Hill. This is the volume two. I love the colors, guys. It's really fun for summer. So keeping that. The Alien Cosmetics Milkshake Palette. This is the only Alien Cosmetics palette I have, but I want to get all of them because this palette is good. It's like really good. Um, the shimmers, that's where, I mean, they shine. So I have two Maybe palettes. I had more, but they were mostly neutral, so I got rid of them. Um, I did keep this neutral one because, I mean, if I feel like it's colors I'd actually wear. Although there are only two mattes in this. Wow, really? Mm. I love their palettes, but I'm not going to use this if it only has two mattes. Although I could pull out one of my other matte palettes. It's just, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. Um, the Take Me To Santorini palette by Maybe, though, I am going to keep. I love this palette, and it's a beautiful summer palette. I did a look on my Instagram with it, and they reposted me using this, and I, I really love that. My Lethal Is Dead, my Lethal and Teresa Is Dead palette. You would have to pry this out of my cold, dead hands. This is coming into the casket with me, as Teresa would say. I love Teresa is dead. Now, I'm not going to lie. Lethal is not my favorite indie formula. Um, I have another Lethal palette. Where are you? Right here. Um, I made this one myself. Obviously, I'm going to keep these. And Lethal's formula is fine, but I only buy, like, would only buy any more singles if they were on sale because they're kind of expensive and I think they're from Germany and I don't know but I love like the whole aesthetic of what Teresa did with them and I'm so proud of her so um keeping that this is an all that glitters palette from Make a Geek I got it like on super sale back when they were getting rid of all of their round pans um I still love Makeup Geek I still think their formula is bomb, and I'm going to keep that. Um, I have a ton of their singles in a standalone palette, and I use Shimmer Shimmer every day as a highlight. I actually have a backup of Shimmer Shimmer right here. Um, I use this as an inner corner highlight. I'm keeping all of these. I love it. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not getting rid of them. Um, let me talk to you guys about this. So, I told you guys in one of my other like get ready with me videos that I wasn't sure how I felt about this palette because the, the shades are so chunky. Um, you actually have to use your fingers with it for it not to come off so chunky. But I did a look and it's on my Instagram and it is one of the most favorite looks that I've ever done. And I did it with this palette. I'm not going to lie. The mattes aren't like, this isn't my favorite indie formula. It's not. But it's really good. Although these, like I was talking about, their palettes are expensive. They're very heavy. So, shipping is expensive. But I would definitely buy more from Menagerie. I changed my mind on this. Like, this to me, it, it is worth it. Um, My favorite indie brand, hands down, period, is Wicked Sisters Cosmetics. This is... One, I love the aesthetic. I am such a horror movie person. I love this. Like, can't just uh, love it. I also have the one inspired by Freddy Krueger and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre one coming to me soon. I'm hoping it, um, I think 
I think they said two or three weeks from when I ordered before it got shipped, but I can't wait. But guys, I did a look with this on my uh, Instagram reel. Oh, it was to me so much fun and I love this brand. I love this brand. I love the aesthetic. Gonna get all of their palettes like hands down. Favorite formula. Like the formula is, I mean, it's amazing. Like it is amazing. And these shades, oh, they are so, like look at this red. I mean, it goes on the eyes. Oh, just amazing. And I just, I love it. So, hands down favorite indie brand right here. I know that this isn't a brand that a lot of people talk about. And I don't know why they should. And this brand, I think in August, is coming to Walmart.com. So, excited about that. Now, I have two Midas Cosmetics palettes. I have the Lemonade palette. I bought this because of Teresa's Dead. Um, it's better than the ColourPop uh -huh Honey palette, but I'm just not a fan of yellows, but I'm still keeping it. Um, I have the High Tides palette, High Times palette too. Um, the colors in here are pretty. It's just not, it's not anything special. I haven't found a Midas palette that I was like, oh my God, it's amazing. So, but they're not terrible. My Caladios palettes, I only have four. I didn't get the really bright neon one by the time, like. I went to order. That one was already, like, it was already gone. I'm, like, behind. I was behind. I was late to Caladios and how great they were. Um, so, I think this is the four. This is the turquoise one. Um, I really like their packaging. Um, once again, I like Caladios formula better than, like, let's say Lethal. Um, and I like Angie's palette the best. But this is the Sci-Fi Green. I don't know why some of them are in boxes and other ones aren't. I don't ask me that. Um, this is the Astro Pink, right? Yeah. That's the three. And then the Futurism, the Cyber Bronze. I'm keeping. Oh, oh, I hope I didn't bust that. Let's see. The Cyber Bronze. And I love that. So I'm keeping all of my Caladios ones. Guys, it's, it's, I probably won't get rid of very many indie shadows. So, um, let's talk about Give Me Glow. I know everybody and their mother goes gaga over Give Me Rose. And I have all of these palettes. I have the Vivid Rose. I have the Vintage Rose. All of that. My favorite, where's my little one? Oh, never mind. Um, my favorite palette from them is actually this one, the Grunge Palette. I guess I can get rid of the packaging. It looks the same. Um, it's just so good. Nobody can beat Gimme Glow shimmers, but their mattes are not, they're not amazing. The ones in this palette are, but I had problems with the Vivid Rose. This got so many good reviews, and I'm sitting over here struggling. Now, granted, I'm not a makeup artist, but... Some of the people that gave this great reviews aren't makeup artists either. So, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Like I said, shimmers are amazing. I found these purples, and of course purples are hard to formulate in the first place. But they were very patchy. They blended terrible. I don't know. I like, I wouldn't recommend this one. I mean, the color story is pretty, but for the price of it and the trouble I had, I just couldn't. I do recommend the... Um, grunge palette and then the vintage rose palette. Now this one, this one is good. Like I didn't have any trouble with this one. So this one's pretty. I also, I want to talk about something real quick about Gimme Glow. A while back they had a, some controversy because they didn't have swatches of deeper skin tones. And a lot of people were commenting on their Instagram, but I got to say the YouTubers I watched, nobody said anything about it. It was all, we love their formula, blah, blah, blah. And they just grazed over it. And so I find it kind of tacky when YouTubers talk about controversy for certain brands and then not about others. There's a specific YouTuber who always talks crap about like, 
Jacqueline and Jeffrey and all that, but she's constantly pushing, like, give me glow. And doesn't, she didn't even acknowledge. And even when somebody in the comments said, hey, did you know there was all this going on with Gimme Glow? And she's like, no, I'm not, I'm not going to pay attention to that drama. But she's constantly bringing up drama. I don't know. So, I haven't balked since that drama. And they have started being more inclusive. But it's not my place to, like, judge whether or not that means they should be forgiven. Because, obviously, they didn't hurt me. But I'm just not buying their newer stuff for now because I'm going to see how it goes. Um, that's why I don't have the pastel palette from them. That probably would have been a pastel palette that I would have bought. Um, but I didn't. So I'm like on a break. I don't cancel any brand. I give them a chance to like change, but I also don't run out and like just buy everything. If I think that they've done something that's a little controversial. So Speaking of which, I never showed any looks with this on my Instagram. I thought they handled this terrible. Bless Betty Jean's heart. Like, she's amazing. The color is amazing. Like, every all of that was amazing. Shroud handled this terrible. They just did. And I'm not going to buy from them as a brand again. There could be nothing that they make that would be worth all of this. So... I think I got mine back in, like, February and March. Um, I think I was in, like, batch 4,000 or something. I feel like by the time they got around to updating everybody on what was going on, they didn't start updating until December. Most of the people ordered their stuff in October. They gave a weekly update, and it always just had excuses. Um our building's not ready yet, or our pressing machine, or to me, they should not have even had a pre-order and let everybody pre-order if they did not think that they could come out with the pallets in a timely manner. They should have said, like, we're only making so many, we'll restock it when we can. Like, um, Menagerie did with the Annette collab, right? Like, she said something like, there's only 400, and then they'll come back with some more. But, like, they were very upfront about how many they had. Like, they just took all the pre-orders they wanted, and I feel like they did this specifically so they could move into a warehouse and buy a pressing machine. I feel, I feel like they took the money for that purpose and then left us hanging for a while. So, it's not Betty Jean's fault. She's wonderful. The palette is good quality. Um... But I'll I'll never buy from Shroud again. That to me was just so. This is the KK Beauty. This is the classic palette. I'm also going to put this in my maybe pile. I just don't know if I want to keep KKW pal uh, palettes. This is the Sigma Ambiance palette. I have not used it yet. This is going to be gorgeous um, to use. Actually, I have several Sigma palettes. I have not used any of them yet. I have never tried their formula. So I don't know if it's going to be any good. All right, my melt palettes, I have the She's in Parties. A lot of people didn't like this palette. They thought it went too deep and didn't have enough light shades. I love that palette. The Smoke Sessions palette, I'm going to get rid of that. Um, it's pretty. There's not enough mattes in here. Uh, everybody knows melt palettes are like hit or miss on their formula too. Like, So this one wasn't my favorite melt palette, but these are expensive. I'm not getting rid of them. Um, the Gemini palette, I love this. I'm keeping it. It's one of my favorite grungy green palettes. Um, the Rustic, love it. I thought this formula was good. I didn't buy the Burnett because I have this palette and I didn't feel like I needed both of them. If I were to get rid of one palette from Melt Cosmetics, it would be this one. I don't like this one. I don't like the formula. I don't like the colors. I just don't like it. I don't like it. But I'm not getting rid of it. I also have the Vita and the Morite palette. They're up there. I bought those when they came out. I bought those when they came out. And I've only used each of them one time. So I put them over there with my new stuff. Hoping that I would pull for it. And they've been sitting over there for like two months now. And I still haven't pulled for it. I don't know. I pulled for this one before I pulled for those. This is the Mary Jane uh, palette. I actually like this one. People gave this one crap. But... I liked it. I didn't see anything wrong with it. Um, I wish I would have got those little glitter liners or whatever they came out with, but I didn't. So, kind of regret that now. These are all of my um, 
Sydney Grace Tentalia palettes I have on the horizon. Of course, these aren't going anywhere. I just got these. Love Christine. I've been following her since I got into makeup. Her reviews are so in-depth and amazing. And the colors she picked are gorgeous. She did a light and deep version. This was Radiant Reflection. Four each, so it was a six a total of six palettes. I got the light version. Um, I kind of wanted the deep version more, but they were already sold out of one of them in the deep, and I didn't want to get like too deep and one light and all of that. And besides, there are actually people that needed the deep more than I did because I can use the light, so I felt like it would be kind of just bad for me to just buy that one. So, um I talked about these a while ago on my Instagram on whether I was going to keep them or get rid of them. This is the Hycena 2 from Blush Tribe. They are no longer a thing, and I don't use this palette. So, I kept it because the colors are pretty and the packaging is pretty, but I'm getting rid of this. Um, it's time. Also, the Amy's, Amy Loves Beauty or whatever, the Amy Cosmetics, she's not a thing anymore. I think she did a palette with, like, Amy Loves Makeup, and it, like was a really big deal and controversial and all of this. So, I love this palette. The The shimmers in it are really pretty, but they're not a thing anymore, so I'm getting rid of this one, too. Um, I have, I think I'm one more Ace Beauté palette. This is the Vintage Dawn. I really like this. I think the colors are really pretty. I like oranges and blues together, so that's right up my alley. This is my favorite blue-green palette. It's the Oceanic palette. Um... I love it, and I also think this flare palette is really good for fall, and it's very, very unique, so keeping that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put all these back, and then I'm going to bring down the new palettes that I haven't used yet, and then we'll talk about that, and then we'll talk about um, the ones sitting over here in my uh, maybe pile. All right, guys, so we're down to my last little bit. I know I haven't been swatching, but these videos are already turning out to be, like, extremely long. So, uh, I realized I forgot to show y'all my, like, Pat McGrath palettes. This is the, does this one say? Uh, the Mothership Sublime Bronze, Bronze Ambition. That's what that looks like. I'm not getting rid of, crap, I just dug into it. Did you say? I'm not getting rid of any of Mama Pat. I'm just not. Um, I have this one. I actually like this one. I know a lot of people said they didn't like it. I did. I thought the quality was great on it. I have the Divine Rose 2. What? Yeah, we're going to go get a haircut in a minute. That's what that looks like. Love it. Keeping it. Okay. Um, I have my, oh, bud. I have my Natasha Denona Love Palette. Keeping that. I'm going to get rid of the box. Um, I have my Natasha Denona Zendo. I'm also going to get rid of the box on this one. That's what that looks like. Love it. Once again, in this video, give me a big thumbs up if you're a mom that has to stop every 10 minutes because of your kids. <laughs> it happens in all of my videos. It never fails. All right, this is the Morite. That's what I told you. I've swatched it. It's very pretty. I know everybody wanted to get their hands on it, and I never even used it. I feel like crap that I never did, but I mainly just wanted them because they're so gorgeous. Never touched this one either. So, I got to do a look. Maybe, would you guys want to see a get ready with me using these? Um, if you do, then let me know in the comments if this is something that you guys would actually be interested in. All right, so these OPV palettes came from BoxyCharm. Um, I saw them post something really shady. And I decided I was never going to buy from them. And then, like, two of these came back, um, back to back in, like, BoxyCharm. Um, so... They posted something about, like, a homeless lady getting a makeover, and they kept making her show her teeth, how she didn't have any teeth. They, 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 it was like they were embarrassing her. Um, and I don't know that OPV is the one that did it, but they posted it. To me, they should have known better. Um, I am going to keep this palette. I think this would be fun to use. But 
I've never even touched this. I've never even swatched it. I don't want to because I want to give this away. This is something I could actually put in a giveaway, which is what I think I'm going to do. This is brand new. So, I'm going to I'm going to leave that for somebody else to use. And excuse me. All right, and I'm going to keep this one. All right, I have the Ace Butte Nostalgia palette. Um that's what that looks like. I'm going to keep this. I, I don't know why I'm saying I'm going to keep it. These are new palettes. Obviously, I'm going to want to keep some of them. But some of these, I do want to try to give up, like, to, in a giveaway. Um, but I really want to try this one. So, this Cab Day and Night eyeshadow palette, this came in a boxy charm, And I'm pretty sure this is, like, a palette sold at Walmart. I've never touched this one either. Um... I think I'm going to give this away in a giveaway, too. I don't need this. I mean, the colors I have, like, a bazillion times over. And I think maybe one of you guys would love it. So, I don't know if I'm going to do this on Instagram or if I'm going to do it here or if I'm going to do it when I get, like, so many subscribers or something. I don't know, but um, we'll see. This is the All That Palette from ColourPop I told you I had and I've never even used. So, keeping this... This is the only, like, one of these BH palettes I bought. I just bought it because I like the color story. Uh, my mom's birthday is in April. Mine's actually in May, so I should have got the emerald one, but I didn't. Um, this is the Barcelona. This also, I already have the one in a giveaway because I had no idea I bought two. And apparently I did. So, one of these are already put up for a giveaway along with that Venus uh, 3 palette. So, but I'm, I can't wait to use that. I have this Dominique Cosmetics Transition Palette. I have a lot of Dominique Cosmetics palettes in here. I've not tried any of them out. Um, so, I'm excited to use this. I was told, well, I mean, it's, it's supposed to be you can use it for, like, an all-over face palette, too. Like, for everything, eyeshadow, face, which you can do that with any eyeshadow palette. I don't know why they tried to make it seem like this was, like, something crazy. Um, this is the Blooms Palette from Alter Ego. I got this, and then I thought about it, and I'm like, well, shit. Oh, sorry. Not, well, crap. I already have, like, the actual Natasha Denona one. Um, so, I just kept it, and it's never been touched. And I think I'm going to put this in a giveaway, too. So, because there's no point in me keeping this when I have the real one. Would you please quit before you break those? Thank you. He's messing with the single shadows that I decluttered. But we don't want to break them because then I can't give them to anybody. All right. Here is the BH Let That Blank Go palette. It's the green one. I haven't tried it yet. I can't wait to use it. Um, the Stone Cold Fox and the Bare Necessities. I think I actually did use each one of these like one time. But I just left them there because one time's not like enough. But I'm not getting rid of these. I'm keeping them. This palette... I kept because I couldn't decide what I wanted to do with it. I kept it like I was going to continue to use it. I actually think I'm ready to let this go now. I don't, I've, I never watched him and I only like bought it because it was a rainbow okay. palette. But I have all of the, I have all the carnival palettes now and everything. So I just, I don't need to keep this one. So I am letting that one go as well. Uh, speaking of which, I still didn't pull my carnival palettes. So I'm still going to have to do that. Um, so this is the, I bought the Corderosa Eye and Cheek set from Sigma. I guess I can get rid of the box because they each come in a box. So that's the blush palette. I didn't show that one in my blush declutter or my face palette declutter because I forgot I got both of them. Um, anyway, that's what that looks like. I'm excited to use this. Um, obviously I'm keeping this and the cheek palette. So this, I don't know what I want to do. Um, I got this for, like I said, you sign up, you get stuff from BoxyCharm. This was one of the free ones I got when I signed up, but it's very pretty. There's a lot of pretty jewel tones and stuff in it, but I haven't touched it. And I think I'm going to put this in for a giveaway too. So, cause I don't know. I just, I don't have any desire to use that. Um, this is the ColourPop Big Poppy Palette. That's what that looks like. Very pretty. Love orangey tones. 
keeping it. I have the Sigma Ivy palette. Once again, like I have all these Sigma palettes and I have not used any of them. And I don't know what their formula is like, period, because I've never used a Sigma palette. Um, that's what that looks like. I have this Viseart. Uh, this is the Neutral Mattes Milieu or whatever palette. I got that from a boxy pop-up. I'm keeping this. The Lime Crime Greatest Hits Classic. Um, haven't used that. Keeping it. The Savannah palette by C Color. I actually have used this. Um, this was a dupe for, I think the, what was it? One of the Natasha Denona, the Safari, or no, this is called, yeah, I think it was the Safari palette. Um, I don't know. I'm going to put this in the maybe because I don't know if I actually want to keep this one or not. And then I have all of these Dominique Cosmetic palettes. I have the Berries and Cream. It looks like that. I've never used it. Keeping the Rustic Glam. I'm actually excited for this one. I know this one didn't get as much hype as the other ones. But I'm excited for it. This one broke my heart. Look, it arrived busted. And me and Sephora are going through some issues with each other right now. I'm going to talk about that in another video. I don't want to talk about it in this one because it's already so long. But needless to say, I couldn't get a replacement from this. So, anyway, that's what that looks like. So, I'm excited to use that. And then the last palette that I haven't used, which I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the packaging, is the Beauty Bay's Pastel Palette. I bought this. It's all Make Me Up Missa's fault. She swears this is like the best a uh, little pastel palette for like blending out other shades and stuff like that. And I think it was like on sale for like five or six dollars. So I was like, you can't, you can't beat that. So I just went ahead and purchased that at the same time I got the Fiery 2.0 palette. Um, let me pull, guys, this is it. What I'm fixing to show you right now is the last little bit of palettes I got. I can't believe, I can't believe we're done. Do you know how long it's been? Um, yeah, because you've been watching it that long. This is the Carnival XL Pro. Not going anywhere. I already showed you the Carnival 3. This is the Be Perfect Dream Big palette. This, I probably shouldn't have bought. I'm not even going to lie. Um, I don't like it. I don't like the chunkiness of the eyeshadows. And I don't know. It's just not very cohesive. Um, this is the Be Perfect Carnival palette. Love this one. And then my three Norvinas that I got. I got Norvina 1. Love it. The Norvina 2. Love it. And the Norvina 3, which is probably my favorite out of all of them. I want to get five. I didn't really want four because it's not really my color story. And I have tons of those colors. So, All right. So, let's see if I can manage... To move all of these out of the way so that we can look at all of these maybe palettes. Um, so let's start with the C Color Savannah palette. Um, this is a dupe palette. I don't like this. Oh my god, my oldest son is screaming something about anime like at the top of his lungs. Anyway, um. I'm going to get rid of this. I know it's a dupe palette. I don't, I don't need this. Um, and see colors formula. I don't like as much as alter ego. It's not bad. Um, their palettes are actually cheaper than alter egos, but I don't, I don't need this palette. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, like I feel bad if I keep this knowing all the stuff going on with it, but then I had already bought it. I'm going to, do I need this? Um, I don't know. 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 Um, um, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to keep it. I know, but I'm going to keep it. Um, I am, uh, 
Like that color is pretty, but I'm never realistically going to wear a gray that dark on my eye. I am, I'm going to get rid of this. I just, I don't need it. I know somebody else can get some more use out of it. So, and guys, if anything today has taught me to stop just buying stuff to complete collections or just because it looks pretty, like I need to be very mindful. I'm getting rid of this Natasha Denona one. Like I kind of like, oh, it's Natasha. I want to keep it. But realistically, like I'm not, I'm not going to use these. I just, I'm, I'm not going to use it. So I'm getting rid of that. Um... I'm going to keep this just for the pressed glitters and see if I do a look with any of them. And if I don't use them in the next couple of months, then I'm going to declutter this one anyway. Um, I am, um, I'm going to get rid of this. I don't use it. I just don't, I don't need it. I feel like I'm doing so much better than I actually thought I was going to do. Um, I think I'm going to keep one. I think I'm going to keep one. I just don't know which one. Like none of them look... Realistically, which one am I going to wear more? Um, my kids are driving me insane. Um, I kind of want to keep this one, but I think I'd actually wear this one more. I don't know, y'all. I'm just gonna keep my KKW beauty palettes. I can't. I can't. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. I have enough purples in that Morphe palette that I kept. I'm getting rid of this. And I'm getting rid of this. It's pretty. It's pretty. But I'm not. I'm not going to use it. So, I'm going to get rid of that. So, I'm going to put all of this stuff up. I'm going to count how many I kept. And then I'm going to show you what I'm getting rid of. And I'll be back. Guys, you're not going to believe this. I don't. You might believe it. But I don't believe it. Because I just can't believe it. I have 315 palettes that I kept. That I kept. I have 315 palettes. Um, you guys didn't see. One, two, three, four, five. Like seven or eight. Because they were from, like I said, controversial brands. But 315 that I kept. That is what I kept. And I thought I did really good decluttering. So now let's go through the ones that I actually decluttered. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, oh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35 palettes I decluttered. Um, all of those are going to friends and family. These are all going to go in a giveaway. And guys... That's 35 pounds. So, that means that I had exactly 350 pallets. And I still have a big bin way up there on top of my stuff that I know has got another like 5 or 10 pallets in it. So, I can't believe I have that many pallets. Oh, my God. <laughs> I probably should declutter more than 35. But we're going to have to do this another time, guys, because that's all I can do right now. I got to get my kids ready so that we can go to uh, get their hair cut. Give it, this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. 
um, seeing all of my eyeshadows and helping me declutter, give this video a thumbs up. If you're a mom of kids who you have to stop the video every five seconds because they need something, uh, give this video a thumbs up if you're ready to see a giveaway. Um, I love you guys. Remember, makeup is just for fun. It's not meant to be judged, uh, judgmental. And I will see you in my next video, everybody. Bye.